Why all the concern, indeed. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, everybody. My name is Bear. Thank you very much for joining me again. Not a lot of stress relief to take care of today, thankfully. We've got ourselves into a pretty good spot. And I believe if I'm going to go in here and I'm going to check this embark and I'm going to see... We got a hag fight, baby. We got that medium level hag ready to go. Six deeds will indeed get us what we need to upgrade this blacksmith as well. So that seems like... A very, very good option right now. So it's just up to me to now determine who is going to be the best party to deal with the wizened hag. Or not even the wizened hag, but the regular old hag. The mean old witch hag. That's the five level one. Don't worry about it anyway. Level three hag coming up. Dismiss is probably going to be a for sure part of the lineup. I, I can't imagine a lineup where we don't have him. So let's make sure he's properly decked out. Quick Draw Charm will be good, and I guess Drifter's Buckle can help out as well. We always gotta worry about the, uh, the fights before the boss battle as well. That can obviously make us worse for wear getting into the boss fight proper. Pretty damn sure I'm not gonna be bringing a leper, so we can just rule out Chartres right now. Savigny is more than likely going to be a part of it, so we've got two of our four already. Ashwill is tempting. I think I'm actually going to take him. He's got a lot of really good options to target the back line. He doesn't do as much damage, but I'm going to see if maybe I can equip some trinkets to fix that right now. Archer's Ring does not really do that much good for him. In fact, I'm not really sure why we have that on there. We could probably do much better. Bleeding Pendant, obviously Hellion only. We might even take a Hellion. That if it bleeds, is a pretty good option too. In fact, it kind of seems like our best bet is to take Hellion, Highwayman, Bounty Hunter, Vestal. I think that'll be pretty damn good. So let's see if we can maybe get him some extra damage or an extra crit chance or something like that. Uh, we're already rocking the move resist, which is really not that good either, so maybe we replace that with something else too. Reducing his dodge is not that bad. I think I can boost up his accuracy for the sake of dodge chance. Although Shimmering Cloak would balance that out, but reduce his health at a cost. Uh, we don't really have that many good options, I suppose. Let's see what else our other characters are rocking right now. Maybe there's something on here that we can use. Uh, the move amulet is, you know, I guess it's decent for him. Fasting seal and seer stone, not a lot going on there. Another fasting seal here. That's something we've come across in increasing frequency, oddly enough. Dismas is using his stuff. malvolet has got hers. The crusader's order is obviously going to stay on him. Yeah, we don't have a ton of options, do we? I should probably take that Fasting Seal off our Plague Doctor just so we can have that available in case I want it. Oh boy. I am, uh, I'm thinking maybe some trips to the Nomad are in order, actually. Let's maybe see if they've got something good for us here. Ooh. That's actually pretty damn good, although he doesn't really have any bleed skills, does he? It's always so weird when there's trinkets available that do that. That give you a bonus to a skill that they don't have or don't even have the potential to have at any point. Although maybe that's, I don't know, foreshadowing to developments to come later in the game, perhaps. Uh, no matter. Right now, we need to worry about the potential power spike we get from the level 4 of all these abilities. So let's go ahead and let Savigny upgrade that as well to the Gilded Mace. That sounds pretty good. And then we're finally going to go over to the Survivalist as well here and make sure that we're utilizing our campfire skills effectively. Malvel that I don't believe has her fourth unlocked, and she doesn't. Wound Care, Pep Talk, Sharpen Spear I like a lot, Revel. Reduce her own stress at the cost of accuracy and speed. That's not really looking that great. Sharpen Spear is one that I like a lot. Might even be one I use. So I, I will unlock that and allow her to throw that onto her camping kit. Dismas, I don't think we've had the pleasure of unlocking something for him either. And Clean Guns I do have already, so that was the one I was going to go with for sure. Uh, Gallows Humor is not bad, actually. I think I can maybe take a gamble on this one, allowing him to have that in case the stress levels get up far too high for us to deal with. Then Ashwil finally needs some help, too. Wound Care and Pep Talk, the base ones there. Plan Takedown is not bad. The Hag is indeed a size 2 monster, so we could use that pretty effectively. I think in this circumstance, that seems like it might be worthwhile, so we'll go ahead and unlock that for him as well, on the off chance that we have the opportunity to utilize it. And, uh, I am actually gonna go ahead and upgrade the Nomad Wagon here, increase their wagon size Rarities to four. And curios. Sold at a profit, of course. I should, actually, you know what, before I even take off, I should commit a couple of people to the sanitarium. I don't ever want to not take advantage of that if I have the money with which to make it worthwhile. So, I could remove 
one of these two to allow for Roy to have a couple more stress relief options, but his stress heal reduction from Ruminator is kind of bad as well. We're gonna be taking all these guys, Chartres could probably use some help. The Unquiet Mind, Known Cheat, uh, none of these are really striking me as entirely necessary. Oh, hey, hold on, we can <laughs> okay, we gotta take care of this. Uh, we gotta get rid of her gambler, otherwise we're not gonna be able to stress relief her at all, so let's do that. And then, uh, Anemic and Sickly are kind of bad, but not really that awful. Stress Eater kind of sucks too, I might want to get rid of that one, those two aren't that bad. Tippler will only drink. I could get rid of that. Hmm, stomach cramp, meh. Nothing's really awful right now. I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Let's do scattering, maybe, on our second Plague Doctor. Is that a- no, it's only our first Plague Doctor. Okay, so let's try to make her a little bit better. Scattering we could get rid of, although it's really not that bad either, Damn it! Ah! Now nah, I'm gonna get rid of that. Restrain me not! Alright, here we go. We are ready for it, baby. Just, we're gonna double check those layouts again. I'm actually gonna go ahead, ahead and uh, switch those two around because his point blank shot is gonna be available for the entirety of the first bits of the dungeon here. And I think we're set to go. Let's just make sure we're double checking these. Trinket's looking good. Trinket's looking good. Bounty Hunter has shit, but we'll live with it. And then our Vestal is actually rocking some decent stuff. So there we go. Provision away. 12 food, always a staple for us, although I've kind of felt like maybe I need some more lately. Right now, I think I'll stick with 12. We're gonna bring three shovels because I don't anticipate having to wind through too many hallways to get there, and that's still a safe amount. Uh, two herbs just in case we run into some more food opportunities, and then one of each of these just to be on the safe side. Alright, let's do it. Her knowledge of horticulturalism and its role in various arcane practices impressed me greatly. My licentious impulse gave way to a genuine professional respect, and together, we began to plant, harvest, and brew. Brew. Mmm, tasty brew. Yum, diddly scrumptious. The hag is right there. Let's go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six rooms before we actually get to her. I think we'll be just fine. Stress levels are not an issue, although we don't have a stress healer in the party, so that's something I maybe ought to be mildly Nature concerned herself. about. A victim to the spreading corruption. I'm just gonna try to do my damnedest to uh, to manage stress relief as early and often as possible in the form of potential interactions with items here. I'm gonna check my trap chance on our highwayman. Is decent bounty hunter is better, 60%. Let's do it. There we go. I love seeing those early trap disarms, man. They set a good morale for the rest of the trip, right? Make us feel like we got a chance here. Chance to blight skills. That's probably something I'm going to be dumping off, to be honest. Uh, this looks like it's going to give me some more food, actually. Give me like 12. 10's good. Okay, that's... That's what I'm hoping to come across with those extra herbs, man. That's what I'm looking for. I like it a lot. Let's see what we get to start off with here. A coffin. We got two stress causers. What in the world is this? What in the world is that? Is this new? This has to be new. I have no idea what that is. Um, is that like an indicator of the light? Oh, good start. Okay, there we go. I've got to figure out what on earth this is. This has got to be like a brand new thing. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm just going to assume that there's not a lot we can do about it at least then and make our way forward. Decent damage from Savagni there, so she's not really meant to do much, but when she does, it's always helpful. Good resist, okay. Oh, wait a minute, what? No, that's just the that's the round indicator, and then this is Oh, hey, this is a fun new little uh helpful little tidbit for us then. This indicates who has not yet taken actions during the round. Okay, so that's gonna be pretty damn nice. That's gonna allow me to stop having to, uh, you know, focus all my efforts on. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. That, and also who's gone during the round. That's Confidence very helpful. As the enemy crumbles. I like that a lot. Okay, let's go for the stun here. Uh, okay, yeah, I figured that would be happening a lot. She does have a lot of dodge. My goodness. Oh, and I keep forgetting she's got that crazy front two move when she gets up to the front line. You don't really want to allow that to happen too much. 
Okay, I like this a lot then. That is very nice. Extremely helpful to be able to see who's gone during the round. Very, very good. I like the stuff they are doing to the game, man. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. 750 gold too, okay. Uh, I don't know if we can interact with this with anything. I'm gonna try the holy water because I think that works. No, nothing, okay. Pretty sure this is just uh, impossible to cleanse. Does contain treasures though. Nice. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Okay, another opportunity for a shovel. I still think it's okay to do this as long as we have one shovel left over. Glittering although it is gold, kind of early. Trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Here's our early eating prompt. Okay, and we've disarmed two traps now. That's fantastic. Although the odds are stacked against me, moving forward. Maybe we get another scout here. That would be amazing. A tent and the same exact lineup. All right, that's fine by me. Oh, I forgot to switch my guys back, but oh well. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for some pistol shots, try to deal some damage to the back early on here. Good start, good start. I'm digging it, Highway Man. Now, can we kill her with a judgment? We can. It's basically a coin flip. Let's hope for it. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I can live with that. I can live with the consequences of my poor decisions. Don't push him. God damn it. Well, at least these two can do mo the majority of their stuff from those positions. I think he's actually able to do a lot of his things, too, from where he is, so... Maybe that's not so bad. Press we'll take her out, though. Give them no quarter. This giant, man. I kind of feel I'll like I want to kill her. Turns. Oh, God. Wow, that was a lot of stress. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm going to take her out. Destroyed. Thank you very kindly. Singular strike. Man, he is getting excited about this. Holy shit, I forgot how hard he hits. Okay, be careful of that. Let's do a little bit of party healing here. Try to get everybody yak. Back into the the fighting spirit. Oh, there it is. There's that spirit I'm looking for, Mr. Bounty Hunter. A Shwil the Magnificent. Bam. A little bit of bleed on there as well. Okay, we're doing good here. We're doing fine. Poison spores. Okay, resist that blight, man. Uh, uh, how I wish I had some battlefield medicine or something here. I do have anti-venom, but I kind of want to steer clear of using that this early on. Might have opportunities to interact with that. Throughout the dungeon, good God, that is half of our health. That is insane. There we go. Answer back. The greater the glory. With a little bit of goddamn determination. A powerful blow. All right, Eldritch killing incense is not even really worth considering. So let's just go ahead and I don't know why I'm doing this the way I'm doing this, but no matter. Here we go. Back in action. I am probably gonna end up dumping off another trinket here as well. Left valuables inside the tent. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Now, people are telling me I am able to put things back in the treasure chest in order to be able to use other things. And I am not seeing the opportunities to do that unless it is referring to things that I got out of that particular treasure chest, which would make sense. So I should pay attention to that before I start doing these kinds of things in order to prevent the mayhem that ensues. Well, actually, here, let's see if I can do it now. No, I can't. I thought I could. So, unless I'm doing something wrong, that's not a possibility, right? Somebody please let me know, because I have no idea whether or not you're able to actually move things from within the treasure chest back out to your inventory, because that would be exceptionally helpful if you could. Oh well, though. Not a huge loss at any rate. We got a lot of stupid treasures already, man. Okay! Here we go. Good start, perhaps? Nice! Obliterated. Love that. Point blank shot, man. I can't believe I didn't reap the advantages of that move before, and that is a bad early stun. Let's try to heal these guys up. Individually targeted practices. Okay, that's... that's fine, I guess, especially when she acts like a goddamn bamf and takes care of business. Kill the gargoyle? Oh, yes! I'm loving her accuracy, man. That is so good. But now she's hurt. Okay, okay, okay. I might go with anti-venom here. This is... Oh, yeah, this is calling close. Let's let's go ahead and heal her up. Clear up some inventory space while we're at it and deal some massive damage. That is her base damage right there, man. That's how hard she can hit. That is incredible. I am leveling 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 loving this level up. Oh my god. Can't even get close to saying that. There we go. No, we need to prioritize that at blacksmith level up, man. That is That is just giving us so many advantages. Now, if I can hit him with his judgment, he dies to the bleed, so I think that might be worthwhile, although healing our party may be the higher priority. 
I'm just really hoping he doesn't negate that completely by taking an action here. It looks like he might. It looks like he might. I'm pretty sure he did. Alright, and the stress. So that was... That didn't end up working out the way I wanted it to, but oh well. Perhaps the turning point. I don't think we're gonna get many of these things. I don't anticipate clearing out a lot of space, although if we eat six food... Yeah... We'll go ahead and do that. We'll take the portraits. That's probably more worthwhile. I doubt I'm gonna be using the holy water, and the emerald is obviously more valuable than the citrine, so we'll go ahead and discard that, take this, and be about our merry business. Okay. Opportunity to use the campfire. Again, I'd still like to hold off on that until right before the hag fight so that I can put myself in the best position to succeed. Oh, I think this is anti-venom, isn't it? Maybe it's bandages. It is bandages. Nice. Okay. Glad I checked those. Could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. So happy. Oh my god, and our scout chance has been amazing. Well, there's our third shovel. So here's hoping we don't have to run into another opportunity to use one, and we do eat food again. Okay, well, looking a little, a little tight now. Obviously gonna use up our last shovel. As soon as we use that campfire, we'll be utilizing the last of our food Secrets as well. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Oh boy, the towering ectoplasm. All right, obviously deal the damage straight away. The sooner we kill that thing, the better, although it might do us well to try to kill the quivering ectoplasm in the back, too. But let's just try to take this thing out. Pretty damn high chance to hit it with everybody, so... Might even be able to... Oh, goodness. Yeah, here we go. I guess it's not that bad. Except when it stuns. Okay, yeah, that sucks. Ooh. That's real bad. I'm gonna try to help everybody out here. The damage is not that great, but their crowd control can be... ...devastating and just lead to the eventual, you know... War of attrition battle that they would definitely win. Let's try to take this thing out. Give me the bleed, although it's not gonna bleed. Yeah, it's not gonna bleed. 95% bleed resist ain't gonna happen. Oh, please don't stun. Okay, stun her. I could go for the kill on that guy, but you know, I I gotta heal my guys up. I gotta help them out. Let's go for the kill. There we go. There we go. All right, no more of those things, please. Mr. and Mrs. Quivering Ectoplasm. I prefer to just fight you instead. I'm not gonna bleed, so I guess I might as well go for the uh, higher percentage. Was that? I don't know if that was. I probably should pay better attention. Okay, no cytokinesis. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness I'm just getting slimed in the mouth. That's all I need to see. Booyah! Okay, it's working, man. We got good things going on. I'm gonna go with more party heals. Vestal needs some loving as well. Oh, Highwayman is hurting. No, oh, please don't make the big guy. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh my god, what is the... I guess the open vein might be a higher accuracy base, actually, so I should probably be using that instead. Doesn't really make a huge difference, I suppose. Oh man, land in the kill and blows. Thank you, Mr. Bounty Hunter. And does this finish it off? Yes! Good, good, good. As victories mount... So, too, will resistance. Nothing is left inside the tent. See, that's the kind of attitude I'd like to have reflected on you, Hellion. Good work. Okay. I'm gonna keep pushing forward. No scout here, unfortunately, but it's looking like I'm nearly to the end anyway. Curious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. I am happy about those 12 crests as well, actually. That is nice to see. Hell yes, there we go. 18 crests in the last five seconds. That's a good rate to try to maintain for the rest of the crew, I guess. Oh, shit. All right. Well, that's, again, not too terrible. I think the entire party is still capable of dealing damage from these positions. We'll be good to go. Frontline Bounty Hunter, in fact, might be something I can think of for the future. Oh, God. That stress is starting to worry me. Thank you! You're outmatched. And outgunned. See, I've got at least one. Unless somebody's hiding someone's somewhere else, which, you know, has happened in the past. Ah, oh, damn. Let's hope for that double crit. I do like this new change to the, uh... To the combat overlay, though. Well, that is a very helpful new element. I gotta be aware of when they actually make these changes, man. <laughs> You'd think I'd be on top of that. Oh, boy. Alright, we gotta move her back. That's an unfortunate shuffle. Ah, uh, you know, just go for the straight damage. Don't need to worry about the status ailments. Especially when the crit strikes are landing. Good goddamn. I know just where your weakest, where knives go in. Just where your weakest appears to be where your flesh will allow for a pointy blade to stab through. 
Oh snap, the blight again. We are out of anti-venom, so we're gonna have to rely on the goodness of the Vestal to get her through this. I think that might be enough for the bleed to take him out. Indeed it is. Oh wait, no, just kidding. I'm completely lying, but this'll work. Good stuff! This expedition at least promises success. Hmm. I think I'd dump off the citrine again. I, I just don't like citrine, man. And tell you what, since we're in this room already, and we are getting the scout, which shows us that the hag is indeed here, we do have to fight one more battle before we get there. Tell you what I can do. I think I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go fight this... Oh, we get more food, actually. Hold on. Hold on, we might dump off the herbs if we get enough food out of this. Oh, baby. Okay, tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off by eating this food. Getting everybody back up to nearly maximum strength. We're gonna take this... Actually, uh, do we take the herbs? I suppose since we already have that available, we might as well take the herbs. Then we can take this food and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, that works out. Then we can probably dump off herbs if we don't end up having to make room for the uh, new, it new items with the Nashers here. Now, if we get a crit off this, which is incredibly unlikely, that would kill everybody, but I think maybe it's worthwhile considering I forgot to shuffle the party back around. Alright. Absolutely nothing as a result of that. The breakthrough can still be very good, though, assuming she doesn't get debuffed somehow, which I'm pretty sure can't happen from these guys, because as we mentioned before, they have literally one move available to them. Which, unfortunately, is a move that can do some damage if we allow it to continue happening. Oh, that's an even lower chance to hit. My god, their dodge is ridiculous. I guess we just try to kill one. There we go. Alright, good start. You can still make some moves from back there. I'm still gonna go for the party heals just to get everybody into tip-top form. And, yeah, this is good. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Allows us to... Gives us options, at least. Of how we can potentially take them down next time. And then with him acting second, that will move him into the position where her If It Bleeds strike can target him. So that's helpful for us. Divine Comfort's still good again. Still just fine. Trying to shuffle these guys around at some point. Good crit! Thank you very much! Wicked Hack obviously still available as well as the Open Vein, which I'm pretty sure, yeah, it does indeed have a higher accuracy base. That was a mistake I was making earlier, but oh well, we did it! Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. That is an absurd amount of money, and I am going to dump off both of these things to allow it to occupy my sack. Ha ha ha. Don't be disgusting. Alright, here we go. We're backing up. We are backing all the way up. We're going to try some stress relief, and we are going to fight ourselves a hag. I think we are in much better shape doing this than trying to, uh jump in right away, obviously. I mean, okay, that's wise advice there, Taffy. We know who to rely on for Gather the future. Close, in tenuous firelight, an uneasy companionship. I just realized I dumped off my key before unlocking this chest. That was part of the plan from the get-go and leaving here and then coming back. Unfortunately, I messed that up completely, but oh well. Now, stress relief is not actually a huge priority right now. Maybe we go with one encourage to try to get him down a little bit more. Reject the gods is obviously always a good one, but her stress is already at zero, so I guess we don't really have to worry about that. Sanctuary, I say we go for it. Then we're gonna do clean guns, because I love clean guns, and he's probably gonna be my primary damage dealer. Uh, although Battle Trance, ooh yeah, let's go with Battle Trance, actually. Unless he's got something really good for us. This is how we do it is nice. Plan takedown, he did want to Yeah, I know I like the battle trance a lot more. Let's go with that. That's a buff. That's a massive buff to her. And then she can do reject the gods as well, but obviously it does absolutely nothing. In fact, it does a negative effect for us, so that would be... That would be handicapping myself because I just have so much confidence in our abilities to succeed here. We've already made out, like, quite well as far as our loot is concerned, too. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Well, that's probably the worst thing that could have happened there. Oh well. Oh, we don't actually want to have him in the front line either. We want to have the Hellion up front because he, uh... His point-blank shot is not going to help us out, but if he, if he can get an early open vein and land that, that will be pretty damn good. So, since we're not going to be using the food anyway, I figured I might as well use it to heal up a little bit more. Get the Hellion in better condition. Whoever she takes into the pot, I may have to make the discernation of whether or not it's worthwhile to get them out. And maniacal. A slathering testament to the powers of corruption. Oh god, I thought Open Vein could actually target the back line too. Damn, that sucks. Alright, whatever. Good de er, decent damage, I suppose, early on. She's got 84 hit points and she took the Vestal. 
Okay, well, you know what? That might honestly be okay. Oh god, look at that debuff though, holy shit. You know what, I think we can do this. We can mark her for death, deal a massive amount of damage as quickly as possible, get If It Bleeds going, because her bleed resist is pretty low comparatively to a lot of other enemies we face in here. I think we're gonna be okay here, actually. I think we let her simmer in the pot for a little while, you know, get a nice... a nice oil tan going, and... <laughs> and we just allow the party to take care of business. She uses both of her moves now. Taste the stew bumps up our stress, but still manageable. Still completely reasonable levels. I guess we just go with pistol shot on our highwayman here. She's already feeling hurt, man. My god, look at this. If we stack another bleed here? Holy cow! We might kill her in round two. We might kill the hag in two rounds. If I can land the finish him. Didn't quite knock her out, but she's gone next turn. Oh my god. Leave her corpse to rot. Consumed by the spores she spawned. Holy shit! <laughs> okay! We did it! Hooray! Go team! Let's see what we get. Uh huh. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'll take that. I'll take that helm. I'm gonna dump off the move amulet. Although, well... Eh, we already have two of these. We'll take this. Then that's 250 gold. I can probably just leave that behind. Alright! Alright. We're good! Hooray! Look at all those rewards, too, man. Look at all this money! Look at all this money! 20 grand! Nearly. Holy cow! And the hag defeated. What a day. What a bountiful harvest. We definitely got enough deeds to level up the blacksmith as well, although I'm kind of looking toward reducing the costs of those upgrades before we even pursue further agendas there. Let's see what we reap the benefits of in this direction. Calm! 15% damage reduction in the first round. Ooh. Backtracker's okay. Steady, Ruins, Adventure, and Sadiomania, ooh. Not the greatest results from that page, but I'll live with it. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. Roussel has returned, we've reduced... Way. Reduced the insignificance of a couple of our other fellas and lady fellas. Things are looking pretty damn good here, man. I'm gonna upgrade this blacksmith before I forget to do that, but... Nonetheless. A sharper sword, a stronger shield, anything to prolong a soldier's life. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.